Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Making It Together live educational broadcast. It's Thursday, April 16th. I'll be your host today, Josh Ellsworth, coming live to you every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So we have some fun projects, I think, today. Uh, we'll be going through uh, several applications over on our Hotronics Autoclam heat press. Uh, potentially, uh, we're going to be cutting something on a vinyl cutter, really quick, easy job, exploring a little bit of the CADWorks Live Design Studio, the Easy Teams uh, function of that for doing uh, names. And then we will also uh, be talking about some sales opportunities uh, that are out there for you right now if you can connect uh, to the customers and, and be able to uh, present some of the products we're showing you. And these aren't my original ideas. These are just from uh, watching what other people are sharing on Facebook. Uh, but I'm going to share with you some concepts that hopefully you can uh, drum up some business uh, right now in this slow time. So if you're joining us, whether that's from Facebook or YouTube, like love for you to shout out exactly uh, who you are and where you're watching from. We've been doing more of these than I can keep track with, so I, I quit numbering them uh, in the title. Uh, this is our Making It Together. We come live every single day um, of the week. And uh, Jenna has, been, um, has moved her classes to three o'clock, so you'll be able to catch her tomorrow live at three o'clock uh, from her home studio. And then I'll be coming to you uh, next week as well. And so we have a couple exciting things uh, coming. And so I want to share my screen with you and show you a little bit about what's going on. So uh, number one is we've on the Transfer Express website, uh, we've launched quite a few things. One are these stock transfer packs. I highlighted them on Tuesday and they sold out in the first day. And so I was really excited for that. Uh, we reprinted and, and restocked the shelves. We're shipping these to order, but these are our Stay Strong uh, Together. Uh, we're all in this together stock transfer packs. Again, you can order these from Transfer Express at a highly discounted rate. And the best thing about this is all the proceeds that we make from it uh, go to support John Hopkins Medicine and research and patient, patient care for COVID-19. And so we did some discounted prices. You can get a 50 pack for $50. And you can decorate as many as three t-shirts with one uh, sheet. So that's a really fantastic price. And I'm glad to see that a lot of you are jumping on that opportunity and uh, customizing these shirts, offering them for sale in your communities or wherever you connect the customers uh, to be able to um, lend a helping hand and raise money uh, sometimes for small businesses as well. So I've seen folks launch these um, even on Etsy stores. Uh, for sale onto uh, decorated garments with a percentage of their markup going to first responders or nurses or local businesses. Pick your cause. The goal of this is to, to provide it for you as inexpensive as possible while helping a cause that uh, we're passionate about um, and allowing you to help a cause that's uh, that you're passionate about as well. So make sure you check those out. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you uh, this morning is um, just some of these ideas. Uh, that have been coming forward from some of our different marketing folks and presenters. Uh, we've managed to put together a whole educational schedule now on our stalls.com homepage. This is just under stalls.com slash events, and it's all in one place. So you can see all of our Facebook Live events. You can learn about uh, things like the Promo Corner, which is a virtual trade show we're doing. Uh, our DAX virtual trade show booth, which is an event that um, got canceled that we're still doing a virtual trade show for, um, and then uh, some webinars. So we have a webinar today at two o'clock. It's all about quality photography for your t-shirt business. That'll be put on by Transfer Express. I've seen this content before, and so I think it's uh, really important right now. Uh, photography is really important to creating good listings and generating sales, uh, regardless of where you're selling at online. Um, and then I'll be spending my evening as part of this Omni Print Creators uh, boardroom. And so when you click this link, it's going to bring you up to uh, the Omni Print conference. And I'll pause the video so it doesn't play here. But you can watch a video uh, to hear from Victor um, about what this is all about. Uh, it kicks off in about seven hours. So there will be um, sales, marketing, business advice, et cetera. Um, I'm just one speaker on a host of many uh, industry experts and sales leaders out there in the industry. So if you have some time this evening, uh, that'll kick off at, I think it's six o'clock uh, Eastern time. Um, and my session is a, a few hours into it, but you can uh, register, uh, look at the agenda here. There is a ton of uh, great content. Uh, my particular class, and these are 20 minute classes, so they're very fast moving. 
with some time for Q&A. But my particular class is at 540 Pacific time or 840 Eastern time. And so wake up and make money with heat transfer. So I'll be pack, jam packing it into a 20 minute session. So I'd love to see some of our uh, favorite stall supporters there shouting out uh, where you're watching from. It is a Zoom conference. Um, it's a presentation mode. So you'll be watching us and our PowerPoints and our live demos uh, where we have them. So I wanna say good morning to uh, Damien from Indiana, uh, Ken from Alabama, Miss Black from Grand Prairie, Texas, Heather from Braintree, England, Patty from Texas, Stephanie from Wisconsin, Crystal from North Carolina, and uh, of course our loyal followers, which are some of those that I just named, but Mike from Canada, I think he's been on every session, Jim from Canada, I remember seeing you last time, uh, Freddie, and I think if this is you, congratulations on your new heat press investment, Freddie. Uh, thanks for joining us from New Jersey. Uh, Brian from Connecticut, and always good to see Craig from Washington. Arthur, good to see you, good morning as well. So. All kinds of uh, fun stuff planned for today and trying to think where I'm going to start. I think I'll start uh, over at the heat press because there's no better place to start. So let me adjust my uh, computer screen so you can get a better look here. Take you for a quick flight and we'll settle in on the heat press and talk about some projects. So uh, trying to come up with some ideas on how you can capitalize selling to uh, the school audience, which of course is learning virtually right now, um, but also some of the events that are going to be missed. So we're starting when we look at the orders coming through at Transfer Express and at stalls, and we can see all of the artwork from across the country that's coming through. We're seeing a lot of stuff, uh, some funny designs for the quarantine. We're seeing a lot of that come through, but we're also seeing a lot for uh, seniors and graduating classes, because I think that's one of the saddest things uh, that we're going through right now is a lot of those uh, students aren't going to be able to experience, at least as far as we can see it, a typical graduation um, and the typical recognition that they receive at, at the end of their uh, season, whatever that season in, wh whether it's band or sports or academic achievement. And so we're seeing a lot of sales that are populating online, a lot of orders that are geared towards seniors. So I thought I would do a uh, varsity jacket concept. And the idea of this is a fleece uh, varsity jacket. It's a sport tech garment available from Sanmar or on the stalls or Transfer Express website. And the thing I like about this jacket is it's not as high end as your typical varsity jacket. So you can use this more for a promotional item or a normal type of sale. And it's a button up, a full button on the front, has some contrasting color uh, sleeves and gray, has a nice clean back print area. And this is just like printing a hoodie. So a lot of the products that you use on fleece or cotton poly blends are gonna work perfect here. So I will thread this onto my auto clamp heat press with the buttons hanging below uh, to get my nice print surface. And I'm gonna start with the preheat. Now, I need to adjust my pressure here. Uh, the application that I'm going to be doing, at least on the front side of this, is uh, the Stretch Litho Mat product. And the reason I like the Stretch Litho Mat, a couple of reasons. One, I had the transfer here, and I came up with the idea from the transfers that I had here. Um, but two is because it gets me a lot of color um, all for one price. So I don't have to pay per color. This is a digital screen printed transfer or a full color screen printed transfer that we're looking at. And so it gives me the ability to gang up multiple designs onto a single sheet. And trust me, with you guys customizing face masks, um, we've seen like in some cases 30 images on one sheet, all different logos in the Stretch Litho product. So it's a great product for a lot of reasons. In this case, I just ganged up two Unrelated designs, I have Lafayette Bulldogs. You're seeing a lot of full color gradients patterns in, the, in there, a little fade. You'll see it better when it gets onto the shirt. And then another one that's just Hope Bay Aquarium. So group up your customer's jobs, save some money, and then just trim them apart with scissors once the job arrives to you. And so we're gonna trim out those Bulldogs. I'm gonna put that on my back print location. Make sure I got the base warm here since this will be my first application off of the press here this morning. And then position it, uh, the design into place. And so Stretch Litho Matte, for those of you that haven't used it, is extremely soft on the garment. Uh, it does require a cover sheet. Um, we include a cover sheet in the box. That's the one you should use. Um, my boxes are over there. I'm not gonna dig for it. So I'm just gonna use craft paper for this particular demo. 
I'm going to position the design. And actually, I should position it a little bit lower uh, than normal because uh, there's both males and females that will be wearing this jacket. Um, and so anytime you're decorating uh, the back of an item uh, for a female, sometimes you get some longer hair typically um, that will get in the way. And so you want to make sure that all your designs and your placements are a little further down. Often, if you're doing like a personalized name on each one, we see on something like a hoodie because the hood hangs down uh, and sometimes even on a standard tee, uh, you see some name personalization underneath if it's particularly for a female demographic, whether that is a, uh, a sports team or whatever it may be. Okay, now stretch litho mat is a single step application. Um, it, on uh, polyester fabrics and high polyester content, 275, 11 to 15 seconds is your standard application. When you are dealing with a fabric that has more cotton in it, sometimes um, I recommend going up to the 300 degrees for 20 seconds. Give it a little bit more time um, and give it a little bit more temperature. You don't have to worry about cotton scorching. So there's nothing to worry about with doing that additional time and temperature and it helps the release of the carrier. This is a cold peel, okay? So I'm gonna let it cool completely down. And I've seen a lot of folks sharing um, out there on Facebook in our different groups. Uh, when we say cold, we mean cold, not throw it in a freezer cold, but room temperature cold. So wait five minutes uh, till you peel the back and give it some time until you uh, release it. If it's applied correctly with the right pressure with an accurate heat press um, and it's a cold peel, you should have good success. Again, the extra tip that I'm giving you here this morning is what I've noticed from talking to customers and consulting with our team and it's noted on the application sheet is if you're having trouble releasing it, odds are it's a, it's a garment with a lot of cotton in it and you need to increase that temperature a bit, also increase that time a bit to get your good application. So while that's cooling, we'll keep pressing here. I'm gonna talk to you about a couple other transfer types, but first I'm gonna look at uh, for some questions here in case anything's coming in. So good morning, Chalk Labs. Good to see you this morning. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, Freddie had an import press. It was time to upgrade. Um, and so we're excited that you have uh, chosen a stalls press to upgrade. We should have some kind of celebration when somebody upgrades a press, some virtual celebration or something. Um, and Freddie was able to capitalize on the show special, uh, which was great. And so that's something we have going right now uh, because we're not doing events. We decided to launch our show specials to everybody. So if you visit stalls.com right on the homepage, you'll see a little ad tile when you scroll down just a bit. It'll say promos. It has all the deals we're running right now because of this thing. We're running some special deals to, to help you out and to help us out uh, in the process. All right, so uh, Maria wants to learn more about how to order multiple designs in one page. So I'll go over to the designer here in a second. So for my next application, I have to pick products that apply at similar temperatures. So I can't go up to goof proof or something, which is 365 degrees. So what I've selected is, um, Elasti prints. And so this was an Elasti prints transfer. This is actually a two color transfer. Um, it's red and that's tough to see, but I can see it through this side of the paper. You can see maybe a little bit of black through there. So that's the cool thing about transfers. It's multiple colors all in a single layer. And I happened to grab this bag to bring some of my samples home the other day. And I thought, hey, this bag might be nice to customize. So this is a, um, it feels like a canvas bag. Um, like an economy grade tote. And it has a pocket inside of it, along with a zipper inside of it. And so getting rid of that is going to be important. So I usually like to pick the side to print on that is opposite, that pockets and zippers that are inside of the bag. Typically you'll have a clean side if you're ordering it from a blank apparel wholesaler. And then I'm going to split it open uh, to load it on. Now, again, a reason people really like this heat press is because you know I'm hitting a jam there and I can't load that bag on. So the nice thing is we have the interchangeable attachment. So the ability to just take off this bottom attachment, put it to the side, grab an attachment that's a better fit. This is an 11 by 15. If you're buying your first heat press with us, the attachments I recommend what I've actually used here before I brought more home uh, from work for these demos, the 16 by 20 comes on it. Then I recommend the 11 by 15. To me, that's a must, I use it all the time. And then the other one that we're gonna use in a little bit here is the six by 10. I think you should be able to get by with those three attachments for most of your stuff, unless you wanna get into hat bills and shoes and all kinds of crazy stuff you can do on your machine. But those three should do. 
All right, so now I'm gonna work with the 11 by 15, and it's a little bit easier to be able to split that bag to get it underneath the bottom of the press, slide it on, and get rid of the straps because the straps may not really hurt my pressure that much because they're pretty thin, but they may scorch up or have an issue. So I wanna get them off of the press, get my pressing area flat. Now, because I've changed my attachment, I'm gonna go through that heat uh, preheat process again. And then I'm having a, drawing a blank here. So I'm gonna show you how to find the application instructions. So over on transferexpress.com, if you go under just the heat transfer section, and then I'm gonna go to our screen printed transfer. The one I'm using again is called ElastiPrint, which is typically our low temp material that applies at 300 degrees. So I know that part. If you scroll down on this, I'll be able to find the time here. So it says 300 degrees, 15 seconds, medium pressure, cold peel. Okay, so anytime you are struggling with application, uh, if you buy the Transfer Express Marketing Kit, which is on sale for 35 bucks, it comes with all of those application instructions and a wall graphic that you can put right up on the wall. So I need to get one of those. Um, this design was designed for a t-shirt, but I think it would be pretty cool with the way it's designed to make it fit this full white panel on this bag. So I can see through this carrier a bit and that'll help me line it up. Um, if you're having trouble seeing through the carrier, that's where I'm gonna grab my scissors and trim it uh, against the design. And so I'll tighten the edges up real quick so I can see exactly where I'm laying it on the garment. So that's one of the challenges with screen printed transfers is typically it's this white carrier instead of uh, view through like the stretch litho that we applied first. That's a, one of the benefits. But now when I trim this up, I can see exactly where my design is uh, to lay it out. So I'm gonna position it. Oh boy, this is tight. So um, the design is like right up to the edge of my edge of the platen. So I'm gonna try it um, because it's just so tight to the edge. I usually recommend coming in about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch from any platen edge, whether that's a bottom or a top platen, uh, to make sure your design will fit and apply right. Because it's so close to the edge, I'm just gonna adjust my pressure to make sure I'm getting really good pressure on it. And then I'm gonna press it for the 15 seconds. This machine does have a pressure readout from uh, zero to nine, with a nine being a firm pressure. Again, ElastiPrint takes 15 seconds. The press would auto open for you. Just gonna open it up and, and very carefully, you know, kind of loosen this bag up since it is a cold peel transfer and slide it off. And place it to the side and wait to peel it. Now I may have some issues at the edge there based on that size uh, of platen. So I'm warning you guys about that up front. Uh, we'll take a look and see how I did. All right, last application that I'm gonna do before I show you how to cut a name and we peel some of these designs, uh, just so we can stay at the heat press, I'm going to do, this is a boxer craft. It's an 80-20 uh, garment. It's a, more of a fashionable uh, style garment with a scoop neck um, and a little bit of a, a flowy uh, design to it, as well as a vertical seam up the back, if you can see that. So uh, just a black garment. Um, I want to show you the, I'm gonna show you the AquaTrue screen printed transfers and I'll make sense of these transfers here in a second for you when we compare the finished results. But the benefit of the AquaTrue transfer is it is a water-based transfer. So total different way that we make it. It's not Plastisol ink, it's a water-based ink, which means it's a greener product. Um, it also means from a finished look and feel that it's uh, super soft uh, on the garment. It presses down at 275 degrees. So, I'm at 300 now, so I'm just gonna leave my heat press there, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my time and then we'll check the application instructions for AquaTrue as well. But again, it's a larger sheet, it's a clear sheet. You can gang up designs. It is a little higher minimum to get this, but if you really want a premium effect and you're doing a large quantity of transfers, uh, this is gonna feel even better than uh, traditional screen printing because it's water-based. So it gives you the ability to do really high-end results and uh, this product can apply to basically any fabric, cotton, poly, uh, nylon. We did one episode on here where I took one small logo and applied it across four or five different 
uh, items, um, and it's completely versatile and very easy to apply. So let me locate my scissors and start to trim this apart. Now, typically when you're working with screen printed transfers, it is a spot color technology, which means we're burning a screen for the white and the yellow uh, in this particular case. And that is true for AquaTrue. So unless it has the word digital or full color in it, you know you're gonna end up paying per color. Uh, the number of color colors is going to drive up uh, your price. All right, so let's go ahead and load this on. Go back to my 16 by 20, just so I can see more of the shirt. I always like to use the 16 by 20 if I can, because that helps me see more of the garment, which is gonna help my alignment a lot. So we'll do a front print first. Loading it, preheating it. And then we will go over onto the website to check the application instructions. So I'm just gonna scroll up here, go back to my screen printed transfer section. And this time, actually I need to go all the way back to transfers. I will pick uh, our water-based category here. And I can see AquaTrue is the, the choice there. And if I scroll down, it will give me the application 275, 12 to 15 seconds. So I'm at 300, so I'm definitely gonna run the 12 second side of the application. And it is a uh, medium pressure and it's also a hot peel. So let's preheat, I'm at a five pressure. Should be a medium, I always like to run a little bit heavier when I'm working with transfer. So I always run on the higher side of medium, like a six or a seven preheat, and then position my design again, it's clear. And I'll also notice how we've designed this with a lot of open space. So the feel of something on a garment is up to you in the design process. Um, there's a lot of ways you can intelligently design stuff to make it feel uh, a lot better on the garment. So gonna press it, it's gonna count down and it's gonna auto open for me. I'm not worried about the auto open here because it is a hot peel. So I'm not worrying it about starting to peel my transfers. And we all love AquaTrue because you can basically go like this with it when it's done and it's applied and complete and it feels absolutely uh, great uh, on the garment. This is a super thin garment and because of the design and the feel of the product, it's just awesome. Now I wanna show you another placement on this. So if you're if you're buying the sheet for a customer, we're gonna play to uh, this garment. And I think that's really one of the big points about making a brand stand out. If you can design with your garment in mind, like know the garment, know what you're ordering. And so we have this design and there's a vertical seam on this garment. So rather than doing a straight horizontal placement, we're gonna go ahead and play to that seam and add some special customization that says Mid Park Lions uh, up the back of the shirt vertically. And I think it just kind of gives it that little extra something to make it stand out. And it doesn't cost you a whole lot more money to put a nice um, vertical print across this sheet. Um, so I think it's a way to drive more value uh, into your garment and really into the brand and who you are as a decorator, the types of looks that you can create. Press, peel, and you kind of get the idea of what we're doing there. We have that vertical seam and we did the mid park lions going across the back. So it helps to complete the garment. It's one of the benefits of the heat press. I can go really close to seams. I can go into unique print locations on the garment uh, and get some great results. So with that in mind, I'm gonna grab the other things that I pressed. This is the Elasti prints. Yeah, see I was worried about this because it was right on the edge. I'm gonna peel it and show you. If I wanted to save this, um, where it's peeling up on the edge. I could save this um, by loading that 16 by 20 platen and re just repressing the application when I start to see that peeling. But I want you to see exactly what happened here and what I mean. So I'll peel it off and you'll see where the majority of the application is good. And so if I hold it back here, looks great, right? It's a nice oversized print on that bag. But when I hold it close up, 
you'll see that edge is starting to lift there, the very edge. So every single part of this application in the center is absolutely fine. It's just where I was squeezing that outside edge, it becomes challenging. And so I've said this a lot, but it's very important to keep in mind the size of the platen that is going to fit the item that you're gonna print when you are sizing your design. And so yesterday I asked a question on Facebook is, what is your standard width for your full front print, right? Full front prints are easier, but then start to think of my platen width. So when I'm doing a U shirt, I better not make it wider than about uh, 10 inches because I'm gonna be squeezing the limits of my uh, 11 by 15 platen. So keep all of that in mind when you're designing, try to standardize some sizing for your business. Not only will it help you, with accuracy of heat application, but it's also gonna help you a lot with ganging on your transfer sheet, if you keep that in mind, and also material utilization on your vinyl cutter, if you know your width of your vinyl with spacing up designs. So it really will drive extra profit if you can keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna grab my stretch litho design that was also applied. I'm gonna just grab the corner and the stretch litho is a cold peel, so I'm basically just gonna peel it and follow it along. And I have a completed result here um, that just looks great on there. So again, we're seeing lots of color in the design. We're seeing uh, color gradients even here uh, with my background image. And so this is all design work that you can do in Corel, Illustrator, on the Transfer Express designer that they give you or within uh, CADWorks Live. So I still wanna put a, a name placement on the front of here, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about some design work now. Let me look at some questions. Yeah, so applied all the samples. The AquaTrue was my favorite. Buttery Saw, thanks for sharing your experience. Um, yeah, the black, the uh, back placement is just a, a really cool extra um, that you can add. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, yeah, so Marsha, uh, actually to be able to test all those samples, she purchased the marketing kit from Transfer Express. So over on Transfer Express, if you wanna try all these transfer products, all you need to do is go to transfers and it's over under marketing tools. And we have the Easy Prints marketing kit right here. We call it your t-shirt business in a box. Certainly something great. It literally has uh, 30 display samples in there that you can uh, heat apply and use as actual sales samples. And again, we're doing the limited time offer for $35. Uh, it does comes in a big heavy box with a with a book and color swatches. So there is a twelve dollar flat rate shipping rate. But all in all, you're going to have that delivered to your door for less than uh, fifty dollars, and it's something great that you can work with. You can even put in your business name, and we will print it on front of the book, so you can use it as a sales book when you can start meeting with uh, clients again. So that marketing kit is always one of our top sellers, and we do notice a difference uh, between the people that purchase the marketing kit and don't as far as their success with us. And so we find when somebody buys a marketing kit, typically they're a more successful startup customer because they have the tools and samples to sell with. And so that's that's pretty cool. Um, Freddie asks, on the ElastiPrint cold peel, do you not recommend the press auto open on its own? Uh, you could probably get by with letting it auto open. I was a little bit cautious because of um, squeezing the edge of that platen. But generally when you're dealing with like sublimation or cold peels that are very delicate, if you just wanna catch that handle when it's auto opening and just kind of gradually let it release, um, if you're having issues peeling, that would be my recommendation. All right, so we've shared the uh, link to the marketing kit in our feed, but you, I also showed you how to get there. Um, now let's talk a little bit about uh, some design work and let's get a, a name on this uh, varsity jacket that we've created. So for that, we're going to work with a software called CADWorks Live. And so CADWorks Live is a free online designer. If you've attended any of my classes, you know how to get there and you're probably already signed up. Um, I just keep repeating the same things because they work and doing them in different ways. Uh, CADWorks is a critical part of running my small business. You're gonna need a design software. If you don't wanna learn Corel or Illustrator, learn CADWorks, in my opinion, it's a lot easier. All right, so within CADWorks, there are two components. There is a design studio and there is Easy Teams. Easy Teams is most typically used for lists of names for teams and numbers uh, for athletics. 
uh, but it can be also used for left chest name personalization. Uh, I've mentioned before, I, I, I did it, I use it a lot for like track jackets for dancers. It's gonna work perfect for this uh, varsity jacket as well. And so anytime I wanna create a list of names, whether they're player names or names of uh, graduating seniors or whoever it's going to, I'm just gonna click on player names and I can actually import a file. So if the somebody from the PTO or the PTF provides me with a list of all the seniors that they're ordering jackets to, uh, and keep in mind a lot of these schools, um, their PTF and their PTO have a budget that they need to spend and zero out each year. So it could be likely that they are sitting there with uh, money in their budget that they need to spend. Um, and so spending that on the graduating class and, and to customize apparel is a great way. So think about that. All right, so basically I'm just gonna type the name here. And so let's just say the name of the senior is, looking for the first name I see. We'll say it's, I think we had uh, Marsha. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And then um, I'm also just gonna cut uh, senior as well. Now you could, actually I'll show you a different way to do senior. I'll just do Marsha for now, but you can type in the whole roster of names. And when you type it in, it will bring it up onto the uh, design screen. Now, in addition to names, if I wanted a lot of a single name, I like to use the sponsor link. And so to create a sponsor, whether that's something that's going on the back of a ball uniform because the sponsor goes on every uniform, or in this case, I'm gonna use it to create my senior uh, 2020 text. Um, I can then I can just say, hey, give me 20 of those because I'm doing 20 jackets and it'll make that many copies. Of course, today we're only doing one. So I'm gonna click okay and it will drop it directly into my list so I can hit the magnifying glass uh, to be able to see it. Again, we're working with the easy teams part of CADWorks. Now, what I love about this is once you build your whole roster, even if it's 100 names, the max is 100 names or 100 combos, then I can go up into uh, the style and I can edit the name style of everything all at once. So I can change the font of everything all at once, arch it, you know, add an envelope, do anything I wanna do. So I'll click on edit name style. It will bring up the Arial font that I have selected and I'll be able to select the font that I would rather have for this. So let's go with this agency font, open it up, get a preview of it across the text that I'm working with. And then I can also say, you know, here's the size that I want that text to be. Now I'm gonna do one inch text, um, and then I'll show you a little bit um, about how to make sure they fit on your item as well in the next step. Here you can also add an effect. I'm not really gonna add one, I just wanna do some straight text, but I wanted you to see like, here's all the effects that you can add to the text, and it hits all of the text in the list at once, which is awesome, whether that's an outline or a gap outline or an arc, um, whatever that may be. All right, once you're good with it, click okay. It will update the preview for you. And then uh, really it's creating the uh, vector file. And so uh, it creates that and I have my vector file ready to go. Now, if I go up in the top tab, I'm up right up here in the top, bring it in closer so you can see here, uh, you will see an options menu. If you click on options, that's really where you're gonna get this thing called uh, a global width constraint, which is particularly beneficial when I'm trying to do a large roster and fit it across um, a, a certain location on a garment, because I don't want it to be so large that it's gonna run into uh, the buttons of the jacket or over a seam or off the edge. So you can set up either a global width constraint or you can set up a width constraint for the particular name. So if I know Marsha is going on an extra, extra small, I may wanna size it to fit smaller from my list and not restrict everything else. But in this case, since we're just going on one size here, I'm gonna constrain all of the widths. I'm gonna say, hey, don't go over four inches because I'm gonna be pressing on a six by 10 platen. So I need you to kind of tighten it up and make sure that text, even if I have a long name, uh, that it doesn't exceed four inches and then it will kind of condense it uh, in that way. So you get your whole list and then you go to output. And again, you can save it. We are designing in the cloud. So if you want to uh, save anything, uh, not a big deal there. It'll always be there when you go back in to open it up under your own login, um, or you can export it to a PLT file if you're using your own uh, vinyl cutter driver software. But we give you uh, a software called VectorCut that you can 
uh, download this to uh, right from the system. And so I'm just gonna click export selected items to vector cut, let it know the material width that I have loaded and click okay. And it'll uh, download it right to the bottom toolbar here of uh, Chrome, which is the web browser I'm using. And then when I open it up, it's going to open up vector cut actually over here on my other screen. So I'll bring it into your view. And now I can see it's created, you know, this vector art, uh, Marsha and Senior 2020, that's ready to go. Cutting it on heat transfer vinyl, so I'm always going to mirror the image. You can see I have my graph tech cutter selected up in the top right hand corner. And you can set up your material size. Now I'm not worried about it, but it actually, for some reason, went to an 18 inch width on material size. I know I have about uh, 14 inches of usable width in there. So I'm going to make sure that that uh, material size fits. And I'm also gonna auto origin it to bring it back on the material size. And of course you can always zoom out and get a complete look of the material that you're using. So we create the designs and then we are ready to uh, send the cut job. But before I send that, I have a couple questions I'm just going to take here. And so uh, Obi asks, can you use the fonts that are saved to your computer in CADWORKS software? So the answer is yes. Um, you can upload a zip file um, of a font uh, into CADWorks. I just did that the other day because I was creating one of those shirts that says seniors, the ones where they were quarantined, brought in the artwork, I'll actually pull that artwork and show you what we created there. But yeah, you can definitely upload your own fonts and it'll save only under your login. All right. And uh, Laura asked this question. I'm going to bring it on the screen. I don't know the answer. I do know that there's plans for future updates. Uh, we're actually talking a lot about CADWorks right now. Um, and so more, more news on that to come in the coming months um, and versions to allow um, OTF fonts, um, open type fonts. I assume that's what that is. So try um, uploading it as the zip file and see if it works, Laura. And um, I'll make sure I share this feedback with the developers. I'm not extremely familiar with fonts and formats, but I'll see if I can get some advice there. All right, and I think, I think I'm good. Uh, Cheryl asked the question, is the sales binder still available? And so I have mine over there, but there's a sales binder that has samples of all the materials that's from stalls. And yes, it's still available. The price is $75 and you just got to call our uh, customer service line at 1-800-478-2457 uh, to order. Okay, so I think we're good on questions. So let me bring the uh, software back up into a larger view and I'm going to send my cut job. So I skipped, I saved us some time this morning. I set up my vinyl cutter in advance with fashion film. So I'm gonna go ahead and send the cut job. It's gonna run pretty quick. All I'm gonna do is click this send cut job button. So I'll pull you to full camera view so you can see it cutting. And let's send it over. Cutting 101, before you call tech support, make sure your cutter is plugged in. I'm cutting out a fashion film right now in white. Uh, fashion film is one of our more popular heat transfer uh, films that are out there. It does fine detail pretty good, applies to cotton and polyester, um, has good uh, color range available. So I'm pretty excited about um, you know, what fashion film delivers. And I'll leave you a little Easter egg. I'm even more excited about another product that we're gonna deliver out here in about two weeks. And so make sure you keep tuning in and we'll talk a little bit about uh, what's coming out from stalls. We haven't stopped developing products. Actually, we've increased uh, our development during this time because we wanna make sure that you're uh, equipped with the products uh, to help you grow your business now and when we come out of this thing. So I can't wait to talk to you more about that. So I'm gonna trim this uh, product off after it's been cut. For some reason I can only cut in this direction, so <laughs> make sure I'm cutting it safely. And then I'll give you a close up view of the weeding here of fashion film. Graphtech CE6000 is my favorite cutter. I've owned it for four years, been using it a ton. Uh, the nice thing about this uh, cutter is they keep innovating on it. So I have just the standard Graphtech CE6000. There's actually been a plus that came out and now there's a CE7000 that just came out. At Stalls, we still have inventory of the CE6000 Plus, which is a phenomenal cutter. 
and it'll do everything uh, that you need it to do. And we've put it on a great package in our show special. So if you're looking for a vinyl cutter at a great deal, um, that Graph Tech is eighteen hundred, a little bit more than eighteen hundred dollars, and it comes with just I think seventy yards of material or something crazy. So um, cut my design, have my little strip here, and I'm ready to weed it. Fashion film has a sticky backing. Uh, it's very easy to peel. And it's very thin. It's about 88 microns thick. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last Thursday, which was a debacle of a presentation where I applied all kinds of stuff and scraps to the shirt. Nothing went right. Um, I'm going to peel out these centers using the Stalls Easy Weeder tool. And then trim apart my text. And I have both pieces of customization ready to go over uh, onto the jacket. And so just so I don't have to move twice, I'm gonna press that here for you in a second. Um, my heat press is at 300 degrees. That'll be fine for the fashion film application that I'm gonna do. We're gonna press it to the left chest of the jacket and also the right chest to end the, the broadcast today. Um, and I'm just gonna switch gears for a quick second. Um, and, and talk a little bit about some other sales opportunities for you during this time. So I love how active our community is on our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group. There's so many great conversation and people willing to help others and ideas flying around. And uh, this is an idea that particularly interested me. And since um, I read it from one of our contributors, uh, Nancy Julian, I've uh, seen it a couple other places. So she is totally comfortable uh, sharing this information. And so I'm going to uh, basically share it with you as well um, in this sort of way on some opportunities right now with where we're at. So pull up um, pull up my photos. Let's see if I can find them. May have accidentally closed that window down. Just give me one second here. All right. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. So one, one opportunity we're seeing right now is with uh, banners and signs, particularly for uh, senior classes. So Nancy shared this. Um, she owns a Roland, a printer cutter. And um, so she has the ability to print these herself. Uh, but even if you don't have the ability to print these yourself, I think it's just a, a phenomenal idea, even if you're outsourcing and buying the uh, sign or even uh, bringing together the components, the chloroplast, um, the, the decal that goes on top of it and the sign stand all together. And so basically, uh, again, thinking outside the box, the idea that uh, recognition uh, for somebody that is more visible, usually we go for a t-shirt, right? Because we're walking around and people can see it, but maybe recognition that is more visible uh, at this moment in time is through uh, something like a yard sign. And so uh, recognition in the yard. And so in this particular case, you see a cool concept where it's class of 2020, it's designed up, and these are sales that you can be making uh, to schools, to PTF, to PTO groups uh, right now. So I think that is a uh, phenomenal way uh, to be able to grow your business. Now, let me show you some other uh, options within this. So uh, senior classes and signage is one thing. Here's a couple um, other layouts of it. So this shows um, just a different design style. So framing these um, is a great option and uh, adding a hashtag like we're all in this together or the one where they were quarantined, anything like that would be cool. Here is a sports sample. And so this one says the year that we were quarantined, um, class of 2020. So there's a lot of different ways that you can make this uh, signage unique uh, to be able to uh, grow your sales. Um, and it's not just signs. So a couple more examples here. Um, Lorraine, in this case, contributed the idea of a garden flag. So printing on banner material and being able to use a seam tape um, to allow it to be able to hang 
like a garden flag. A lot of folks have posts in front of their house where they hang out different flags for different seasons um, or flagpoles, whatever it may be. So think about this and what you can be doing. And there's another banner sample I'm gonna pull up here and show you uh, because one thing we can help you with is actually printing uh, the banner material and even grommeting it for you. So that is a service that is available uh, from both stalls and Transfer Express. And I'll show you how to access it here in a second. But in this particular case, you're seeing a little bigger presentation. And so it doesn't just have to be signs, it can also be banners. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, it doesn't just have to be um, seniors, it can be um, other graduating classes. So um, think about partnering with a photography company that maybe took photos in an elementary school that would have uh, graduating uh, classes. Some schools do graduations for their kindergarten classes or preschool classes or uh, even fifth grade classes. So uh, the one that I have here is uh, fifth grade. So this is my daughter. Uh, my sister actually runs the photography company that's doing some of this, but it kind of gives you a, uh, a concept here. In this case, she's doing yard signs, but you could easily do a banner out of this. If you can partner with a local photographer that has these um, images and be able to launch a program like this, you could potentially even uh, sell that on a platform like uh, Spirit Sale. I think there is a lot of opportunities. Yeah, so share your idea, band students maybe. Uh, Patty shared that idea. So um, there is a lot of different concepts. And uh, this isn't uh, a heat transfer vinyl product. We are actually taking a uh, print printable decal material, uh, buying the sign separate, and then applying the decal material to the sign. It's so basically, it's like a big sticker that goes on the sign. Now, if you do have a, if you are working with a larger sign shop, maybe they're gonna print direct to that uh, signage material with a flatbed printer, but typically you have to order volume that way. So I think partnering with somebody that has a roll-in printer cutter um, or buying the product from stalls is a great way. So let me show you where you can find that on our website really quickly. So I'm gonna head over to stalls.com first. So when you're on stalls.com, I always say the kind of the gateway or the key to everything you didn't know about is right here under this little artwork uploader. And so if you if things start with a piece of art, if you have the art piece ready, which we can, uh, you can do that in CADWorks, you click on art, work uploader and if you have a, a photo or if you work with a photographer whatever it might be um, you can upload that here so whether you're ordering a heat transfer or a non-apparel item um, all you have to do is browse to attach your logo it all starts with the logo and again i'm going to just pick that uh, fifth grade graduation picture the analyzer will take a read at it to determine if it's raster or vector art uh, from there, of course, I'm not going to order this as an embroidered patch. I'm going to order this in our CAD prints area. So CAD prints is all of our full color uh, digital print services. I can click on that and then I can decide, hey, do I want this in a banner, in a digital transfer, in a helmet sticker, in a static cling, in a sticker or decal, or in a wall graphic? So lots of different options uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, and let's just say we wanted this in a banner. I can select you know, whether I want a matte banner or a glossy banner. I tend to think glossy is better for photo quality type stuff. Select my width and height, whether I want grommets, and it would quote me out a price. And so you can upload that through stalls. Um, you can order as little as one in most of the product categories, certainly in the banners. Um, I saw that was a question. And you can also do some things on Transfer Express. So something I noticed earlier when I was doing some research for this show is when I go to Transfer Express's Design Center, and this is where you order all your screen printed transfer. Somebody asked earlier about ordering for stretch litho. Um, you go into the Transfer Express Design Center, taking a second to open up here for me, come on. Sorry, this is completely my home internet speed. Um, and then I go into the layouts. And one layout that I saw recently uh, was this We Are Open. So think about businesses as well. So when I open this We Are Open template, you can see it's huge. We would never put that on a t-shirt. So when I zoom out, I can see, oh, that's more intended for a banner for a business. So don't just think about 
graduating classes. Think of supporting other local businesses, not just with t-shirts, but with banners. So being able to let them put a sign out for the ones that are open, or um, certainly restaurants that have curbs curbside pickup or delivery, you can customize this right within the designer. So punch in the customer's phone number, um, being able to grab the red color, and let's just say the customer is a, a blue color, being able to change any element, uh, move any element around that you want. This is the Transfer Express designer. It's fully customized. Now, once you get to what you like here, I'm going to go up here to print method and say, hey, this is a non-apparel application. I want you to give me a glossy banner, right? And then at that point, you'll type in how many of that you want, um, and it will automatically quote you a price. So in this case, that banner, which is uh, two by four feet, is going to cost $25. So we will produce it, manufacture it, we will send it to you. Um, and all you have to do is sell it through. So just another concept. And so that's what we're here to do is to try to give you ideas and inspire you. Obviously, I didn't go through all of the details here. But hopefully, if that's something you're interested in, you could join in the conversations over at our Heat Press for Profit group on Facebook. Call our customer service line, Stalls or Transfer Express. They're both open. Ask your detailed question, get pricing, and they'll be able to guide you to the best possible way to execute on how you want. So hopefully you enjoy that. I'm going to go back to the heat press here. And we're going to complete our final application together today before I take final questions. I'll unplug my cutter so I don't trip over the cable. And we're back at our varsity jacket that we started with, with the stretch litho matte design on the back. Uh, Heat transfer vinyl, of course, is made for personalization. So I'll move this 16 by 20 platen over, and I'm going to use the 6 by 10, which is great for hitting logos like I'm wearing here, which is a reflective material and getting rid of any zipper um, structure that may be in there. So again, 6 by 10, you're going to use it all the time. You're going to use it for small bags. You're going to use it for polos, for quarter zips, for zip ups, for jackets, left chest placement. Uh, this is the way to go. Also, people do short sleeve placements on it as well. So once you have it loaded, I'm just going to split my item and get to the left chest location. And there's a little bit of a overlap here in this jacket with some fabric underneath. So I'm just feeling that and pulling it down below the platen. It's really easy to do. Preheat and make sure my pressure is good. Fashion film is medium pressure. So I'm going to grab my design and I have my senior 2020. I'm going to go ahead and place uh, on the left chest. And I'm also, I could do right chest as well, but if I can include it all in the left chest and reduce my labor to hit one application, I'm going to do that here. I'm just going to put her name um, above it. And I certainly could have uh, cut that together and, and would cut that together if this was the way I was selling through the entire job. That way it's pre-spaced and I'm not having to do the alignment. However, you might think it's cool to rotate colors, like do the names and the girls' names and purple glitter for this bulldog, this purple was in the color, and then the, the regular senior 2020 in just white. But either way, cover it and press it for the recommended time, temp, and press pressure. All right, so I think I'm up to speed on questions. Appreciate everybody joining live today. See, the press does auto open, in fact. And then we hot peel the carrier on fashion film. And then let's take a look at our completed result. And we have the customization uh, completed. So uh, really quick, really easy, uh, completely uh, customized jacket. And again, this just feels uh, great on the garment. You're not hearing that crunchiness that you get when you do a big design like that and something like print cut vinyl stretch litho has that more siliconized uh, feel and uh, face to it, which is great. All right, so we are very close to concluding. I wanna share a couple links with you uh, right now to conclude. One is our survey. And so we'll share that survey link out to wherever you're watching from and complete this. It's four or five questions. It enters you into our giveaway, which will announce some more giveaway winners over on our Facebook group. Those that have already won, you probably received your uh, sample packs in already or the marketing kit, depending on which giveaway you won. And um, 
make sure you fill out the survey. We'll share the link. And the cool thing about uh, the survey as well is it helps me with content on what you want to learn. And so one of those asks were uh, new sales ideas. Who can we sell to right now? This is one place you can sell to right now. Next week, we are doing uh, something called uh, a takeover of Impressions Magazine, uh, all of their, their social media accounts. And so we will be taking those over on Mondays from I think 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern. And then we will be broadcasting our Making It Together sessions uh, the, the next few weeks actually on Mondays um, into their channel and uh, also doing a webinar on Tuesday. So it's uh, if, you, if you watch us next week, know that um, on Mondays moving forward for the next four weeks, we'll have some special programming. Uh, Jenna, who usually does her class now at three o'clock on Monday, she's going to be going live at, I believe, 10 or 11 uh, to kick off that social takeover. Um, so just stay up to date with us and we'll update the calendar accordingly. So we've shared the survey link. Make sure you complete that and um, a couple more questions and then we'll conclude. So the jacket is from uh, Sanmar. It is a sport tech uh, jacket. It's a fleece. Um, I don't know if Sanmar now has the youth sizes or not, but there's another source that I was able to dig up for youth sizes. Um, actually, this was an exact jacket that my daughter got from another decorator um, for her dance school. And we used CAD prints uh, permatwill on the back, which was a really nice look. All right. And you're welcome for being on every day. We're happy to do it. It gives us something to look forward to, uh, to engage with you all as well. So now take some of the, these ideas, go execute on them, go research them. The whole idea is uh, to encourage you to do more. And I want to thank those of you that have come back and said, hey, I got this idea from your class or Jenna's class or this webinar. And here's how I was able to execute on it and learn something new. As educators, that's what, what keeps us going. Uh, it's not always for you just buying something, it's you picking up something and being able to incorporate it into your business uh, to make you more successful. So as always, uh, thanks for watching. I'll keep an eye on the comments. If I didn't get to answer any of your questions, I will do that after the fact. Have a great rest of the day. I probably won't see you tomorrow, so have an awesome weekend.